Hi, welcome back to FlagandBanner.com. This is Kirk, and we're, today we're talking about repairable flags versus non-repairable flags, which is a service that we provide. Um, the best thing to do is send us the flag or bring the flag to us as soon as you see it start to tatter on the fly end, which is the end that's flapping in the wind. Um, the way we determine if the flag is repairable or not is first we look at the colors. If it's not too faded, we can repair it. And then if it's not too badly torn, we can repair it. Uh, such as this flag that we just got in recently, you'll see that just the corner of the fly end is uh, tattered here. And uh, what we'll do with this flag is cut it off straight at the end. We'll just cut the end of it off and rehem it. And then you can get better life, uh, longer life out of the flag without having to purchase a brand new flag. Uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum would be a flag that we received like this. Please don't ever let your flag get into this condition, I beg you. <laughs> Another example of a non-repairable flag is this. Also too torn, too badly torn and uh, faded out. And also, if you have a good flag that has a tear such as this one, that is repairable. Um, if there's uh, large holes, probably not repairable. Uh, thank you for watching uh, Repair Flags 101 with Kirk at flagandbanner.com. Come see us again. If you found this video informative, please click the like button down below. To stay up to date with all of our upcoming videos, subscribe by clicking the circle icon in the middle of your screen. And as always, thank you for watching.